Now let's talk for a moment about goal setting and money. And this is a little bit heretical to say, uh, especially in a personal development or self-help education program like this, but goal setting doesn't work very well. Okay, goal setting doesn't work very well. And there are a few reasons why it doesn't work very well for most people. Now, I've been teaching goal setting and I've been teaching success for a lot of years. And uh, this comes from a lot of my own experience and also working with and teaching many, many, many people all over the world. The first reason why goal setting doesn't work very well is because most people don't like setting goals in the first place. Bob Beale wrote a book several years ago called Stop Setting Goals If You'd Rather Solve Problems. And inside this book, what he taught is that goal setting does not motivate most people, that most people are more motivated by solving problems, and they'd rather figure out problems to solve. And in large live training seminars, I've asked the group, okay, who here likes setting goals? And only a few people raise their hands, and I say, okay, who would rather solve problems? And most of the people raise their hands. Okay, so most people don't like setting goals in the first place. And if you're doing something you don't like, all right, and you're thinking that's the only way to achieve success, you're going to have a disconnect. You're going to have uh, what's called cognitive dissonance inside of yourself. And uh, just like having a bad map uh, that's part right and part wrong, it's going to be frustrating. It's going to be confusing. Now, the second reason why goal setting doesn't work very well, and this is especially true when it comes to getting and making money is that we don't live in a simple cause effect world, right? In other words, we don't live in a world where you do one thing and then one thing is the result. Okay. And this is also very confusing. We live in a world that every, every effect or everything that happens actually has multiple causes and every cause causes multiple effects. Okay, everything is connected. Now, it just so happens that I've uh, spent the last over a month preparing intensely for a five-day live training program that I'm going to be teaching about the brain and how to use the brain and the mind to create success. And, uh, and, and so I'm going to teach you one of the concepts that I'm going to be using as a a central theme in that program because I think it's so important for creating success uh, in any part of life. But one of the things that I've learned is that the human mind is naturally predisposed to look for causes and effects. Okay, everything that happens, we ask ourselves, what caused that? Okay, what is it that caused that? And whenever we want to create something, right, when we want to have an effect, we ask, what do I have to do to cause that effect? So that's good because it allows us to think uh, logically and kind of systematically. But the problem with it is, and the trick that our brain plays on us, is that we want everything to be really, really simple. Okay, we want every, every effect to be caused by one thing. And we want every cause that we put in place to only have one effect, right? So that everything's simple, we can understand it. But that isn't the way the world works at all. Okay? Like I said, everything that happens has multiple causes. And I'm not talking like three causes that are 33.33% of the cause each. I'm talking about dozens and hundreds and thousands of causes that are all different amounts in different orders and different combinations. Now, you might be saying to me, all right, Evan, I thought you were going to make making money easy and simple here. And I think I am ultimately, but I think we've got to understand that the challenge that we're facing actually comes from the inside first. And the challenge can be explained easily, right? We want to have everything be simple cause effect, uh, but it's not. But the fixing of it, right, it takes a little bit of doing, right? It's a little bit more complex than, uh, than we'd like to think. But again, I'm going to give you some solutions uh, that will allow you to face this and tame some of the complexity and make it a little bit simpler for yourself. So, so kind of stay with me. The takeaway here is to remember that we don't live in a simple cause effect world, that this is going to be very confusing when you face it, um, but that there are ways to deal with it, which you'll be learning about. And then the third reason why goal setting doesn't work very well 
is that success results from a combination of things set up in just the right way. Okay, a combination of things set up in just the right way. We'll talk more about this uh, later in this session, but I just want to touch on the idea that success in every area of life, whether it be financial, whether it be health, whether it be relationships, whether it be contributing something to the world, all of these are the result of a combination of things set up in just the right way. Every person that I've met that's a huge, consistent, long-term success in their lives, the people that have created a lot of value in the world, made a lot of money for themselves, offered a lot of value to others, these people have set up systematically various things in their life that all work together in concert. Okay, It's a combination of things set up in just the right way, and success is the result. And so that's a nice little shift that it's important to make there that uh, goal setting doesn't work very well because of these three reasons and that if you actually want to have success that you need to do a combination of things. So let's talk about what to do instead of just setting goals and thinking the old way. So yes, it's important to have goals and um, I recommend that you read books like Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, which is a very famous book where he talks about how to set and achieve goals. It's uh, a great muscle to work, okay, but it's not the only road to success. It's just one piece. What's more important is to know which things to set up in combination and which order to set them up in. Uh, just like baking a cake requires specific ingredients combined in a specific order, making money is the result of the right combination. So as I mentioned, right, the right combination of things that you have to do in just the right way, and that's what we're going to talk about next.